I found the best program online to vectorize your own logo. And the best thing about it is that you don't even have to be a designer for it. A friend of a friend did send me a logo and um, she's a doctor and she made her own logo and she has one problem. She needs the whole thing vectorized because she does still receive the JPEG and the JPEG by itself is not usable for her. So she needs to have a viable option to vectorize that thing. And of course I can just jump into Illustrator and just do it by myself. But I'm pretty sure that there are programs out there that can do the same thing just much easier and much quicker than I can. I haven't paid my bills, that's why I need to use the paper version now. So I googled a little bit on the train for online converters and there is a bunch of programs out there that actually should do the same job and all have their little quirks and limitations to it but every, everything functions basically the same that you just upload it and then it auto converts to a vector basically. But I'm quite curious on how good these vectors actually are because when it comes down to logo design they should have really really clear edges and don't have too many dots and points which make the whole thing a little bit curvy and edgy and it more or less looks like a saw rather than just a clean logo. Oh, it is absolutely freezing outside. I, I'm more than happy to just be inside now and have a warm place where I can actually have a look at these converters and figure out which one is actually the best and which one does work or if none of them actually work. This is actually the logo that a friend of my friend has sent to me and we're going to take this logo and just drop it into three different programs and then just see what happens. And I found three programs that we're going to try out. And the first is going to be vectorizer.ai. The second one is going to be vector magic. And the third one, we're giving Adobe a chance and see if Adobe Express actually does a good job of converting the images to SVGs, which are vectorized files we can work with. So let's drag these images in. So Adobe doesn't give you any customizations whatsoever. It's just saying, okay, your download is ready and then you can download it and that's basically it. Vector Magic and Vectorizer AI function a little bit different here. You can actually go in and do a little bit of adjustment. For example, you can choose the detail level or you can choose the, the colors that you actually want. And they also give you the option to actually remove the background. And Vectorizer AI has the same option to actually get in and select how many colors you actually want to have as well. Both programs don't get along with the gradient of the logo, so that's why I'm going to choose here two colors so that we just have a plain logo. And I must be honest, the results in the beginning look quite decent. And I really like the option that you can choose how many colors you actually want to have. But now I'm going to download the three files and compare them in Illustrator to see how good the vectorization actually is. Of course you have to sign up. So I took the vectorized files and placed them into Adobe Illustrator to see how good the vectorization actually is. And just to give you a comparison, this is the vectorization from Adobe Express. And this doesn't really look good, mainly because the gradient didn't convert properly. And therefore now you have all these little halo stripes going all around the logo. And if I just turn on my vectorization mode, where I can actually see the path, you can see that we have so many paths going on and that all these paths are not really, really clean, but they are just bumpy as hell. And on the other side, this, for example, is from vectorizer.ai. And I must say, I'm quite surprised on how good this actually looks. So the logo by itself already looks quite clean, but also the paths they have created are good, are really, really good especially for an online program. And of course, it's not a hand-drawn logo from a designer and the paths are not as clean as you would draw them by hand. But if it's just a logo you need for the start and the beginning, and it should be just a quick vectorization, then this is absolutely decent for everything you need to do with it. And the best part about it is that this program is completely free. So you don't have to pay a penny for it. 
Could be because it's still in beta, but in comparison with all the other ones, this one is by far the best converter tool I've ever seen and experienced. I was quite surprised on how good this actually turned out. And the vector magic path is quite all right as well. But in comparison with the other ones, this one is actually paid. You have to pay $8.99 a month to actually use the software. And the path is not really better than the one from vectorizer.ai. So I would definitely just go with vectorizer.ai, especially if you don't have any design experience and don't want to pay a designer to actually do the job for you.